Ingredients are really simple. We're going to start with three cups of regular wheat flour, with a cup of whole wheat flour, and I'm also adding just a touch of flaxseed. You, you know my cooking, you know how much I like to use flaxseed in my baking. So about a couple of tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Or a lot of times I just like to add wheat bran to this, um, to this dough. Uh, we'll be also needing a cup of warm water, two teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, and I have a raw sugar here, and additional uh, additional warm water and I have about two cups of warm water here. So we're going to start with adding a teaspoon of sugar to warm water and two teaspoons of yeast. This is active dry yeast and then we're going to let this set for maybe about three or four minutes or until yeast is activated. While yeast is rising we're going to add some salt to flour. In addition to three cups of the regular wheat flour and a cup of whole wheat flour and a little bit of flaxseed, we are going to use another cup of flour, which uh, actually we might not use the, all of it, but we do need an additional cup of flour on the side. As we make our dough, we're going to need to use a little bit more flour to form the dough in a right, into a right consistency. So yeast is ready and now we're just going to pour the yeast over flour and we're going to add a cup of warm water and then we're going to start forming the dough. As it turns out we have a perfectly uh, moist dough with only two cups of water. So we had a cup of water uh, with, uh, with, your, with our yeast and we added another cup of warm water and now we're just going to add a little bit more flour a flour that I told you earlier, a flour that's on the side, uh, to shape perfect dough. And now we're going to add a little bit of flour. I'm going to use some of this flour to clean my hands and get all this extra dough off of my fingers. Take your time to incorporate all the flour and all the little crumbs if you, that you have off of your hands and off of a dish into a dough. And remember, the longer you work on it, the better dough you'll have. Now the dough is nicely shaped, here's a little trick. You're just going to add some oil on the walls of your dish and uh, work it a little bit more until oil is evenly spread on the surface of the dough and then we're going to let the dough rest. And the reason we put a little bit of oil is to keep um, dough from forming the crust. And now we're going to let our dough rest on a warm place for about 15-20 minutes or until it's doubled in size. And now we're going to spread it out, get it on a, a cotton sheet as you see the one I have here. Just going to work the dough a little bit more. And now we're ready to um, spread the dough into a thin layer. Right, just stretch it out. As you see, I go from the middle and then I work towards the sides. And now that we have our dough thinned out, we're gonna cut it in the squares. And to do it, you just use a regular pizza cutter. All right, just cut it in the squares. And then we're gonna let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. While the dough is resting again, we're going to add a cup and a half of oil into a frying pan. Now that dough is ready, we're going to stretch each individual square a little bit more and then we're going to fry them. All right, we're keeping fire on medium and medium high. Just as I said, almost not even a minute. It just this goes really fast. Flip them, let them cook for probably 30 seconds and so, or you'll see, you'll see. Once they turn brown on the bottom, they're done. My kids said, Mom, this is so good, it's ridiculous. And you know what? I agree with them. Mom, are they ready? Oh, yeah. Serve with raw honey and cinnamon or cream cheese in your favorite jam. These treats 
a great alternative to donuts and pop tarts. This is the best thing in the world.